Drawing, sculpturing, decorating, arts and crafts, textile and felt processing, hunting, falconry, smith works and jewellery. We showcase our national identity in the Kazart program. Yani Kazakistan cirni diğer Kazakistan'ın payda bulduğu, onun diplomatik jumusta tanda ona bağlantı buldu. An interest of artists to Kazakhstan was regarding their diploma work, what they have chosen, especially Kazakh epic poems and Jambul Jabayev's wisdom poems have taken the attention of the artist. Katta aklas tanta da. Kinin Maria Liza Gup olsa Kazakistan cirni kilidi de, tolukta Kazak halkının ömrüne Kazak uşlaga artıp kub diğin jumstarde obrazların cesap şarada. Maria Liza Gup Kazak halkının ömrün tansa tansu barsında yeng aldımın ol. Subsequently, Maria Liza Gup, who moved to the Kazakh land, painted great works about the life and traditions of the local population. Lizo Gub studied about the life of unfamiliar Kazakh people and profoundly researched in her works what was in first place. As a result, an artist created a very serious variety of compositions. Sonun saldarından ötte salmaqtı qatan türdegi türlü keskindemeler dünyaya geldi. Maria Lizo Gub was born in the Nikolayev city in Ukraine in 1909. She completed music instrumental college in her hometown and then graduated from the Kiev Art Institute in 1940. During the study at the Institute, an artist was taught by well-known teachers as Krzyzewski, Sharonov, and in 1941, she arrived in Kazakhstan. The first compositions of Maria Lizogub's were etudes, portraits, and sketchworks. One of them was the portrait of the great poet Jambul Jabayev, and artist works are dedicated to the household view. Especially she noted a singular attention to the image of the Kazakh woman, for the wisdom and great importance to the specifics of the national epic. And the yurt house, which was made by the hands of a woman, and other variety of crafts gave inspiration to the artist. A fairy tale composition of Lizo Gub, which was created in 1958, can prove our words. Atalmış şarmada süreçinin Kazak halkının ayildirini diyeceğim. Ulardın bir telpitni, ulardın menizni. This composition included an image of a Kazakh woman, their character and their national clothing, and great interest to their inner world. Lizo Gub depicts a scene in which two distinct generations, namely grandmother and granddaughter, are engaged in a shared activity. A grandmother is telling her granddaughter a fairy tale. This composition is very positive and has drawn warm as well. An artist used warm colors to give us through the paint a liveliness of the composition. Following existing orientalist structures, the artist placed the characters in a dimly lit enclosed space which is covered in decorative blankets and carpets. A view of the yurt with a dowry chest with blankets on it and a carpet on the ground is a further complement of the conversation of these two heroes. The color compatibility also delivers a strong effect of the composition. We can see an artist's singular desire when we have looked at her compositions in a different genre. For example, Master of Art or Honored Artist Kalibia Kwanishbayev's hero of Aldar Koz was drawn a portrait of Shorayak. It was one of the great works of Lizo Gub. An artist's advanced compositions are Dawn, The Youthfulness, Master of Art and other compositions that are kept in the Kazakh National Art Museum. During the war, many artists from neighborhood countries arrived to Kazakhstan in the 1920s to 1930s. Among them were the talented artists as Cherkaski, Itkind, Kalmykov, 
Kuzhilenko, Lizo Gub, and Leon Tiev. One of them was Olga Kuzhilenko, who also contributed to the formation of Kazakh art. She came to Almaty when she was 23 years old. The artist was born in 1911 in Dnipropetrovsk, Ukraine. An artist arrived to Kazakhstan in 1935 and connected her works with development of Kazakh nations. Her first works were dedicated to factories and manufactories that started their work in those years. When she worked at Shimken Plumbaum factory, the artist drew a lot of compositions. Among them were works which described the industrial part of the Plumbum factory. After the war, the work of a peaceful life based on Kuzhilenko's creations as she started to draw portraits of labor heroes of science and culture and honored people. There was a portrait of the Nightingale singer Rosa Baglanova and the famous composer and professor and honored artist Gaziza Zhubanova's portrait has been drawn in a singular way. When the artist drew a portrait of Rosa Baglanova, she paid attention to the appearance of the singer than the process of the psychological view. Artists draw a singer's national clothing, jewelries, and the bright eyes of the singer were drawn in a great level. Through this portrait, the artist tried to describe the honored singer of Kazakhstan and drew it with pride. The artist has several similar portraits. All of them are portraits of the wise Kazakh people and Kazakh beauty daughters, what were shown in the composition. Kuzhilenko's favorite genre was still life, and art lovers know her compositions in still life genre as In Front of the Window, Lemon, and Colorful Flowers. An artist was noticed with their own signature and originality of this genre. We are telling it as artists could show colors in the compositions in every detail, as a flower which was drawn on the brick or texture of iron wares shown by the colors. There are many works of the artist in landscape genre as well, in particular the beautiful sights of Almaty, an important role have taken place in the process of writing this scenery sketch fragments. Artists painted famous parts of the city and can find beauty there as preferred to draw them than wide landscape. In 1939, she graduated the Art Institute named after Repin and majored in Pictorial Art Department with Leonid Leontiev and received the direction to Almaty. In that time, our country was in need of professional art people in a pictorial art with a higher education. Upon arrival, the young specialist was appointed as the head of the art department. At the same time, the young artist was a teacher at the School of Fine Arts. When we graduated university, we were offered to have a choice of three cities. They were Odessa, Tula, and Almaty. Leontev chose Kazakhstan. Perhaps this affected his romantic dream to the south. He arrived in Almaty, of course, everything here was quite new to him, and with great enthusiasm, he submerged into the artistic life, which was in Almaty. He taught at the Almaty Art School and participated in the preparation of the first Congress of the Artists' Union of Kazakhstan, which was in the 40s, and took part in the preparation for an exhibition as well. He participated in this exhibition and was elected a member of the Artists' Union. We see a portrait of a young, emotionally exalted person who arrived to Kazakhstan in 1939. <laughs> When Leon Tev arrived to Almaty, a school of art was at the beginning of development. As a first teacher of this art school, he contributed to the formation of the special methodological books and developed the teaching process. In those years, Leon Tev showed himself as a professional specialist who taught subjects as pictorial art, art and composition. 
There are a lot of artist students who were taught in his workshop and became honored artists of our country. An artist was taught at the Almaty Art School for about 20 years. The pictorial art took a singular place in the artist's compositions. Every time his drawing style was changed. It can be noticed from his first-year compositions, a signature of Russian avant-garde representative as Mark Chagall and Pavel Filonov. The exhibition, which was dedicated to the 20th anniversary of the Soviet Kazakhstan in 1940, and he showed his first painting, which was drawn here. It was a composition of the bazaar at the collective farm. As a theme, there was selected bazaar and it was predetermined because here he saw all the colors of the East. He saw how they had impressed him. Here he was able to show all the skills that he had received at the Academy of Arts and show the vision of the beauty of the Southern region. The compositional structure in this picture seems quite traditional and classic. A viewer's eyes are attracted to the top of the composition. It gives a full opportunity to see the picture for the artist and the viewer, full of various characters and orchestrates a meeting of the traditional and the new. A circle movement was created by a figure on the foreground from the back then an ox which is lying to attract viewers and move the figure which was bent and thus the viewer's eye is seeing the whole picture in circular motion. We can see Leontev's genre compositions. He has seen a lot of regions during the development of lands and created paintings as a canteen in the steppe and shepherd. He lived with nations and showed true realistic daily life of the population. And he has seen changes with his own eyes, what was around and showed them in his compositions. That's why his work attracted art lovers as they were interesting, as viewers see them from the composition of the ancient Kazakh life. Он создал замечательную галерею, портретную галерею деятелей изобразительного искусства, вообще известных людей. He created a wonderful portrait gallery of well-known people in the art, and he always found a peculiar touch, a special description of man. If you have a look at the portrait of the film director, Sultan Khadzikov, we see how the artist drew with magnificent image in his work. He showed his figures on a background of advertising poster of the movie Kiz Zhibek. It seemed his figures, which were in the poster, moved with him. The film director looks thoughtful and very serious as it was full of new ideas. The artist managed to show the inner world of the director and his power, intelligence and aspiration for creation of new masterpieces in cinema. At the middle of the 19th century and beginning of the 20th, an artist's fate, we can divide into three groups who arrived to the Kazakh land. For the first group, we can include people who were deported or came with the expedition staff. The second group were people in Soviet times who received a direction to the different locations. The third groups of people were artists who came with their own desire to live in the country. They have drawn a life of Kazakh people. The main thing of all of them contributed to the formation of Kazakh fine arts and those artists left unique works as well. <laughs>